Hello YouTube, it's time for another video on another bicycle. We're trying out yet another bike. This will allow me and Heidi to ride together. But there is one downfall and it has nothing to do with the manufacturer. Let me talk about that. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. So we're sitting here, it's on a Sunday and this was supposed to have been delivered on Friday. I got a notification that it wasn't going to be delivered on Friday and instead it was going to be delivered on Monday. Today's Sunday and all of a sudden it showed up. One of the things that I have a hard time with is inaccurate shipping information or inaccurate information in general and I even called in whenever they were saying that it was going to be delivered on Friday and asked them based on the tracking information that I have because I do have a FedEx account that allow me to look at some more in-depth tracking information and it said that it wasn't going to be but delivered on Friday and when I told her that it was too far away it was still in Orlando and hadn't showed up at the Coco Center yet and that's who distributes you know the the merchandise actually to this location she said oh yeah you're right it's not gonna make it there today you should get some sort of an update later tonight so Saturday I got an update and it said yes your delivery that was originally scheduled for Monday that then became an early delivery for Friday now that it's Saturday we're updating it and it's not going to be until the original date of Monday again so I had no problem waiting until Monday but here it is so FedEx that's a fail but the company itself I like this one I think this one looks really cool let's get this thing out of the box and look take a little bit closer look I, I, I don't know I'm more excited about this one than any other one that we've had in the past You saw how far we got it there. A uh, little time lapse for you. Couple of first impressions. And again, to remind you guys, we've had uh, Rad Rover 5. We've had a Rad Rover City Step Through. We've had the later version, the Electric XP 2.0 Step Throughs. Uh, both of those were something that we liked because of how they folded up um, we also have the Magicycle and now the mock wheel and by far I'm going to tell you and I'm sure Heidi will say the same packing is very good and what and uh, about saved a lot of time. yes this packaging was so much easier than any other one that we've had and this came from California, and we are in, I guess you could say, kind of southeastern Florida. And the box looks like that it did pretty well, but the packaging did really well, considering. The other thing, I'm going to get Heidi's impressions on this right away, because I know what my answer is. What do you think about the way this looks? It's a nice looking bike. I think it's the nicest one out of all of them. Yeah, it's it, a very nice looking bike. It looks slick. Uh, some of the, the accents that we've got so far that I love. Look at this fake shiny stripe that is just through the plastic forming. How all of a sudden it, it looks like there's a racing stripe. This continues on even into the rear you can see. That is really, really slick. And the frame design, I love the way the frame design looks there. I mean, it just looks really classy. It looks very classy. Now, one thing that I don't care for so far, which we'll get into a little bit more, but um, something that we could change easily, it's not a quick release front wheel. We did have a situation where when we had the cap on our truck, we used that front quick release front wheel all the time. Every single time we got the bike out and put it away, we had to take the front wheel off. So if we still had the cap on our truck, which we don't, we just have a tonneau cover, um, these are going to be mounted in the back of the RV, I'm sure, when we transport. But the, uh, 
the difference there. Um, I, I think I would like that. I, I kind of got used to it. It is it makes it a little bit nicer. But we have wrenches, and I'm assuming, as we're going to go open these boxes, there's wrenches in there to help you out. And then we'll go ahead and reassemble the rest. But I want to open this up and uh, take a look at these boxes and what's in there. So we'll come to this box secondly. It says accessory box. First, I want to take a look in here. It's got to be the battery. It's very heavy. It's about the right size. Oy. Yeah, definitely heavy. And the battery's part of the cover. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of cool. You can see the connector there. Oh, I like that. There's a battery check light. All right, into the accessories. Now, I'm going to be transparent about this as much as possible, like I always do. This was sent to me free of charge. This is just a review that I promised to do for them based on them sending me the bike. I'm going to tell you that the looks of the bike, I, I love the way the looks of the bike are. Definitely love the way the looks. I mean, they look good on paper, but... Okay, let's get back to accessories. Ooh, nice. Look at this. They actually give you a real chrome-plated wrench. Not those little stamp ones. Wow, there's all kinds of crap in here. Okay. Uh, a whole Allen wrench set with... This is kind of a wobble. I don't know if you know. It's a socket drive, so you can, you can see angle 25 degree angle that's nice they included that uh some clips i'm not sure what that's for yet um wow i'm gonna have to read the instructions looks like there's more involved here i have no idea what these are oh these are brake pads these look like replacement brake pads and then of course um these are definitely to hold the wheel on these big nuts hmm. hope to see what else that stuff is the reflectors look at this this is a 15 millimeter. Here's a 19 millimeter. I have wrenches, but it's nice that they include them for the people that don't. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, I see what you did. Holy cow. I can't believe they include a bike pump. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Another reflector. Of course, the pedals. Pretty standard. Those pedals are standard. And the user manual, we'll have to read through there. And the lithium ion charger user manual. Okay, that's nice. We'll go ahead and uh, read through all this information, tell you what we can on this. Now the charger, I'll let you know that it's a, a three amp charger. monstrous this is definitely bigger than the rad rover it, it's taller I, I don't I, I think the tires might be bigger I'm not real sure a few things the cranks look so high quality um, they just look awesome everything looks awesome on this whenever you're assembling this couple tricky parts I don't know if you caught that in the uh, time-lapse there but uh, you got to make sure that you reverse the uh, head here, the, the handlebar head, uh, to what the forks are. So these two bolts here are loose. When you get it, one's kind of loose. The other one is loose. Uh, loosen them both up, and then you're going to spin this part around uh, to put this forward. Because uh, we started putting it together, and I didn't understand why the brake cable was so tight, and it was because it was on the wrong side. Other than that, the assembly went pretty normal. I, I have to make some adjustments, and there's lots of adjustments to be had. Uh, one of the adjustments is how far I want the handlebars pointed out. Bike's kind of falling apart there, <laughs> uh, twisting on me. But how far I want the handlebars out, and what angle I want uh, the handlebars at. Uh, so both of those adjustments can be accomplished. There's a bunch of numbers here you could see for different angles, and the same up here. There's a bunch of different numbers on the uh, handlebars for different angles. The shifter, uh, traditional, what we've seen all along. Um, there's a horn button, so we don't have to worry about a bell. That's nice. The fender goes on fine. The headlight looks pretty good. Uh, 
but here's the bigger kick biggest kicker by far you guys know with the other bike um, that Heidi was definitely a little bit too short to handle it even though it was a step through this one's not necessarily any better if anything it's worse I swear these tires are much bigger work? but yeah that oh. go ahead try to try to get up on there let's see what happens just out of curiosity no, I can't do it. It's hurting my hip. <laughs> I might have to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> that is a that is a handful. Yeah. So the tires on this it's a thing. Nice looking bike though. Yeah, I still think this is the best looking. This is a twenty six by four on the tire, but it's beautiful looking. The decals are just plain. Yeah, that's not. not yeah, blingy. not yes. There's no not bling. Too much. Yeah. yeah, it looks. It's a very nice looking bike. I don't know much about the the actual build of the motors. That's a that's a thing that I don't really care for um, because they could you know anybody could put pretty much anything they want on here. This one says Mach wheel 48 volt 750 watts says 26 inch. Um, of course, that's for the tire size. The uh, wheel themselves has some labeling on it. There you can see. Just it's it's very sleek yeah it's it's just stated so it's, nicely it's crisp and clean you don't see you don't see any of the controller yeah, you yeah know, right none of the controller stuff uh, you don't see any wires they as far as looks this is the best one uh, it looks odd. okay 400 pounds that means me on the bike that means the cargo on the back that means if you have a basket on the front that's or pan airs just that's like 400 pounds is total i don't know how much the rack is now i know the racks on the previous bikes were all showing like anywhere from 26 pounds to 60 pounds i think uh this one i can't see any reason why you can't put uh, about 40 pounds on there i mean it's mounted very nicely we will go over and this is what i suggest you do go over all the nuts and bolts make sure that they're tight make sure that they got assembled correctly but from what I can see as far as assembly on this it's it's okay it's it's really really nice so the next thing we have to do again wait for the battery to be charged I'm gonna put the battery in you can see where it sits it just sits up inside here overall the bike looks awesome hopefully it performs awesome and we're gonna find out oh look adjustability nice Yeah, there's a preload. Um, yeah, that's kind of, that's cool. That's cool. All right, we'll come back. This side over here is just a plug port for charging to reach the charging port, I should say. And again, there is a battery indicator on here. This post here is for the lock, the key lock. So the way you put the battery in, so they say, is you slide in the bottom first. Let's go ahead and try this out. Yep, perfect. That's not difficult at all. And then go ahead and just snap that in. And they said you'll hear a snap, which I just did. All right, so now the battery's in there. <laughs> as far as this being turned on, I don't, I don't think this has anything to do with it. I think that the turn on is, is here. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. So you don't need the key other than to take your battery out. Um, the battery is currently in the lock position and this just unlocks it. So here's the lights. Let's look at those. It's just a simple button. Okay. That's about normal as far as the light goes. How about back there? Work? Yeah. How about the brake? Is there a brake yep. light? There's really a brake light. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about superheroes, but it looks like Wonder Woman to me oh, with okay. a V. Oh, is that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. There is protective sheeting on the cables, so you yeah, don't have nice. abrasion. I mean, this this is nice. Again, it, it's much more nice, neater looking than what I recall um, any of the other ones being. But tall. Again, let me show you the extent of the tall. I'm on it. I, I can get my feet flat, but it's it's pretty harsh. But it's a very comfortable seating position. Very, very comfortable. There's 
there's definitely some differences. First of all, the pickup's really good on throttle only. Um, I didn't pedal at all. <laughs> and the pedal assist actually controls the throttle speed. This is the only bike we've ever owned that's done that. So I had it on one and it only went to like nine miles an hour and just stopped. It would not go any faster. So as soon as I bumped it up to the second one, it went faster. So that is a cool feature that I didn't expect. Um, that would help out like when we're in the park here we shouldn't be going more than 10 anyways so i can just put it on that lowest setting and know that's what it's going to do uh, it's a pretty smooth ride um, but i didn't go any real length to speak of um, there's a lot of cars also in the parking lot but i was surprised to have, um, at the uh, the speed and the quickness of how long it you know how fast it took off very good very very good so this is something we definitely got to uh, play around with and uh give you guys more of a coverage on it and that's coming up right now. Definitely a great bike. I'm going to tell you the brakes are incredible. Uh, they stop on a dime. This is silent even at a downhill speed of 31 miles an hour. All you hear is just the tires humming. As far as the rest of the bike just humming along on a flat, um, we went over the causeway and I was doing 24 miles an hour up the causeway. I weighed 245 pounds. I'm six foot tall and I was not in a crouch. There was some wind and it wasn't to my back. And this thing was just 24 miles an hour. I, I was surprised, I was really surprised. Uh, on a flat, uh, it does 28. And like I said, going downhill, it tops off and stops at about 31 and a half. I'm sure there might be a way to override that to some extent. 
but this is a very comfortable by far the best one out of all of the fat tire bikes we had that includes the rad rover 5 i don't know what the new rad rover 6 is like but i can't imagine it being that much better and then also uh, the magicycle i'd have to top this one off over that and on the magicycle what i don't you know compared to this one the the thing that i like about this one is the uh, rake that's in the steering i feel very comfortable letting go of the steering wheel or the handlebars i should say as i'm driving along to you know like rub dust out of my eyes or something like that it does great in traffic um, it's very user friendly and again i couldn't believe how quiet it was um, even trucking along at high speed um, the battery uh, if I have to say anything about this whole unit, the battery's a little difficult to remove, um, you know, because the fender is here and the battery does tilt out in the front when you remove it. But maybe you don't need to remove it, you know. Maybe you're just, uh, you know, charging it through the port here, which you can. Just, you know, that's why that port is there. So think about it. This is uh, something that I'm going to have the link in the description. There'll be some sort of a discount code applied to it. If you act on that, I'm sure you're going to get this at a discounted rate. Just going to the uh, website and using our code. But the quality is very nice. It is by far the nicest looking one that we've owned. And I'm very, very happy with it. The rack even. Just the rack alone. Uh, on the other ones, the racks are, are just small and narrow. This is, I mean, I don't have small hands. And this is a very big rack. And it looks like it has bosses, so you can put a basket on there if you need to. Just a great bike. But that's going to close it out on the mock wheel. And our trip to the beach was pleasant. Thanks to, uh, thanks to these big fat tires. Got us out there. As always, guys, we hope to see you out here. Bye.